to protect things that he didn't want others to touch, or to trap those he intended to trap. Even if someone wanted to try their luck, their location would surely be exposed.
because of the accompanying scream they would let out when pricked. Simple, yet effective. I think the hunter must have used a pair of iron gloves to avoid being pricked by the thorns. Rest a while. I'm exhausted. ago, I was found unconscious at the scene of a fire, due to an accident. I wasn't injured, but when I woke up I realized I had lost my memory. It was with the help of others that I learned I was a fairly well-known writer of detective stories, but I could not recall a single memory, even when reading the words that were written by my own hand. Slowly, my body recovered, but my memory showed no sign of returning. Fortunately, memory loss didn't occur again after that incident, and I was simply content to live with this new identity. Things rarely turn out as one hopes. I was quickly discarded by the public since I could no longer write anything of significance. And the detective firm that I started wasn't getting any worthwhile cases. I gave up on myself and turned to drink. I began having these episodes. After drinking heavily, I would wake up the next day with cuts all over my body. Sometimes I would come to, only to notice strange objects I would not normally use next to me. At first I chalked it up to alcohol-induced blackouts, but even after I sobered up, the situation persisted and there were no signs that the episodes would stop. It got worse, and the blackouts lasted longer and longer. In the end, I realized the root of the problem, at least according to my neighbors. It wasn't memory loss, but another soul in my body that had awakened. I don't trust the other guy. Even now I don't know what he's done while I was asleep. <gasps> Now, he suddenly appeared and said to me, Trust yourself. Of course I trust myself, but not him. I need to prepare for the worst. 
If he really had something to do with this, I need to be able to prove my innocence. Who's gonna believe me when I say that two souls can exist in one body? This is not a time in history when people believe in things like witchcraft. I need to get to the bottom of this on my own. And these diaries, they're the key. Sometimes, investigating a case is like fumbling your way along a rough, dark path. No one knows what strange treasures will be dug up before the truth is revealed.
painting seems to be upside down. There seems to be something on the back of the painting. This 